who that is. They can wait. I'm in class. All right. So N is equal to 15. Oh, Lord have mercy. And let's go with ages. Let's go with 17, 17, 18, 18, 18, 20, 21, 21, 21, uh, 25, 6, 26, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, It'll be, it'll, it'll flatten down. <coughs> Unless they just want to keep doing it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I want you, and I want you to use whatever you want. I want you to use, let's see, yes. Uh, I'm going to be able to make it much bigger. There you go. All right, whatever method you want with your calculator or get your laptop out and use the Excel spreadsheet, I want you to give me everything you can give me on these numbers. Everything. That means mean, median, mode, empirical rule, uh, five number summary, everything. And it is 9.23. I'm going to give you all seven minutes. Free day. We can't watch movies. We can just sit. And if you don't want to do anything, you can just sit and not do anything. You're the best. I try. <laughs> but if I play a movie or something, uh, yes, uh, Hubert, I'm concerned. The student called and said that they were showing a movie and it didn't have anything to do with math during the movie. We can watch on. We'll pick a movie with like one scene, like it has one math problem in the whole entire movie. And you, know what, you, know what I, you know what I don't like about sharing movies or doing movies or showing a video is there's always one or two at each campus that ignores the whole video and plays on their phone, and then that pisses me off. You know, give you all free day, and then there's one jerk that can't stop playing on their phone for five minutes. That's that's what gets on my nerves. What's that movie with uh, Russell Crowe? Gladiator. No, no, that's my favorite movie. The map. Oh, Beautiful Mind. Yeah, we did watch it. That's depressing. Actually, the movie is more about mental health than it is about math. Yeah. He was freaking crazy, but he won the he won the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> You know why the Nobel Peace Prize, Peace Prize doesn't recognize mathematicians? Because they're stupid. No, uh, because the mathematician ran off with Nobel's wife. So that's why they don't. Uh, that's why they don't honor mathematicians. That's why they have the Fields Medal. <laughs> mathematicians are not stupid. <laughs> At least I don't think they are. All right, everybody should be writing or they should be working on their Excel spreadsheet <coughs> or calculator. Or you can do it by hand if you want to. <laughs> or you could just quit and consider yourself a disappointment. That's what I'm doing. That's what a lot of people do, just quit. And... Mr. Poor says he's not going to do that, Miss Cheater. He's going to win. Oh, Mr. Well, yeah. Poor is a winner. We're, we're, me and him are winners. No, I don't think so. I know so. <laughs> mean, median, mode. Range, mid range, variance, and standard deviation. Now, on the Democratic side, you know who I vote for? 
Thing old Tulsi. Well, she 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 likes to go she likes to go head to head with those people, but she's not in the establishment, so I believe Tulsi Tulsi's got a little bit of a backbone. So good to go vote If you're dead. Well, I'm talking about like if you're dead, that's who I'm sorry. Uh yeah. Yeah, you can vote. A lot of people are voting in the Democratic. They're voting for the one that, you know, the least be able to, well, all of them are not going to be able to be, anyway, the least one. So you need to vote for that Michael Steyer or whatever his name is. Tom yeah, Steyer? I don't like him. He keeps on the Democratic Party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That man's full of hate. That's it. You're rich. Buying prisons, buying and refurbishing okay. prisons. Yeah, that too. He probably made it off coal too. But he's worried about the uh, climate change. Interesting. Yeah, we need to go find out why Obama built that, uh, got that fifteen thousand dollar mansion on an island if he's worried about climate change, like all the Democrats are. Either he's he's either he's very stupid, or he don't believe in climate change. Or he just wants to see $15 million go into water, one of the two. But I'm surprised why more people don't ask that. Why more people don't say, you know, he was the head of the Democratic Party. He was the president of the United States. But he's got, 15, he's got a $15 million house on an island. Must be a tall island. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and be doing a few things for you so you can check your okay. so you can check your uh, progress. Thank you, appreciate it. Shut up. Somebody tell me which one's the mode. 18 and 21. Thank you. So you type in 18, comma, 21. And that's red. 18, comma, 21. Range is equal to the highest, minus the lowest. Mid-range is equal to parentheses, highest plus the lowest, divided by 2. And I'll let y'all finish the rest of it, and then we'll go over that.
operations. I have to answer this one. Let y'all continue to work. squared um, and a value and then we uh, divide it by the um, number. the number of these minus, minus one. one and then we get that okay just stop. I wasted my time asking about yeah. dang it have I done it? Yeah. What'd you get? Two seven. Oh, I got around it six point three. Oh, okay, you round it six point three. Okay, yeah. See, I'm leaving. They talk. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, Man. Deviation. Oh, y'all were actually y'all won't ask me anything, but y'all ask Miss Jeter. Is that what it is? Now the, I was asking if I did it right because I don't have a calculator. What? I was just asking her if I did it right because I don't have a calculator. <laughs> oh, I thought you were asking how to do it. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's snowing Coronavirus. Snow at the Oconee campus. Oh, my God. We're going to have Riggs and Anderson now. <laughs> oh no, it's snowing. It's snowing it easily. Snow it's, it's been everybody's, snowing for Everybody's going to run into the ditch in, in Anderson County. <laughs> Just wait till the people on Easley start well, going through it. Well, Greenville will be affected. <laughs> <laughs> it could be snowing in BFE, but Greenville will be affected. <laughs> That's the only word to Buy your milk and bread while you still can. I do. <laughs> Four to twelve, like last night. Mm -hmm. Not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walmart on Avery. Let's see whether it snows or not for our work. Never closes. Yeah, mine never does either. Well, we only close first day of So. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yep, I just got a message from Oconee campus saying that it's snowing and sleeping. That means all hell's going to break loose in <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> oh my God, I would like to Skype in because it's snowing. Really? <laughs> see, you see what South Carolina people do? Thank it's you. snowing. I don't want to have a red, so I'm going to Skype in. Getting ready to All right. What is it there? that happens to the, um, the Oconee campus? Because it's snowing. You talking about what I'm fixing to do right here? No, for the square one. For the what? Square one. Thank you, square one. Shift six two. The carrot symbol is above the six on your keyboard. Oh, I'm sorry. You have a Apple product, so you probably have to buy that key. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is. Twenty eight ninety nine for a carrot key. Yeah, exactly. I have one. Thank you. Okay. She already bought the. She DLC. already bought it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Copy that down. Well, I just can't hit the right button, I guess. I guess I'm just... Yes, you better go buy a new one. Yep. There we go. Now, make that to the second power. And copy that down. And then what do we do with the formula? What do we do to get a numerator? 
What is the funky E mean? Uh, Add them all up. And that's your numerator for your variance. And you know what? I'm so confident in Miss Jeter. I'm going to ask Miss Jeter to give us the denominator of the. I don't know. What's the denominator? 14. 14. 14. There is your variance, which means absolutely nothing, but you need it so you can get the what? Standard deviation. So I'm going to raise that up to the second point uh, five power. <coughs> no call for the class. We need to lay off the marbles. Six point three. So now you can do your standard deviation on your normal curve, and you can do your standard deviation. Use your standard deviation. I mean your uh, five number summary. You can use your median. So I'm going to put the five number summary right here. Let me just hit five number summary. And that's going to be my min, the min is my max, first quartile or 25th percentile, second quartile, or my 50th percentile, or my median, third yeah. quartile, or my 75th percentile. Take these numbers and you square them. The min is equal to your lowest number. 17. The max is equal to? 36. Good job. I can't get anything past Miss Judy. Fine, fine. No, I don't want to use L. We'll use blue. No, light blue. And this will use gray. Things I do for y'all. No. Maybe. You're welcome. Appreciate it. All right. Median is yellow. Because the median goes with the second quartile. And then there's the middle number. So how many numbers are above the middle number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Odd or even? So Odd. You just pick that one and we'll color that one per day. And that goes here. And then there's seven below, so you pick the 26. And we'll color that one. I ain't got any red in there yet. Dang old rouge. And. How do you say red? Uh, Rojo. Como se dice red espanol? Rojo. 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 Equals. Dang old Rojo. <laughs> Dang old Ho. <laughs> and please, how do you spell Ho? H O. That's how you spell Ho. Unless okay. you're talking about the garden implement, which is H O E. Please don't spell Ho in the former context. If you're speaking about somebody or some thing or whatever, <laughs> what don't you? use H O E, please. Somebody like that? Because oh then you look ignorant. Oh, oh. I'm calling somebody a hoe anyway. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm reading posts and they say she ain't not but a hoe. H O E. Uh -uh. And I put garden tool. <laughs> Shut up, humor. <laughs> No. She's a useful garden tool. Yes. What? What's your question? Not right. What's your question? You Are you fixing to ask me something redundant? No. What? What did you type in? Variance. Variance? Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, just, you know, I just put the daggum formula up yesterday. I'll put it up again. No, I was going to put it up anyway. No, I know the formula, but when you talk about the computer? Oh. 
The variance, yeah. right there, C18 divided by 14. And 14 comes from 15 minus 1. All right, so let's go ahead and do our box plot. And I'll do the max and min for you, and I'll even do the mid-range for you. Now, you need to graduate it. Mid-range is what, 27? Do we worry about decimals on this number line? No. no. You're just locating the box. So it's not like you're, you know, creating, calculating O-rings for the space shuttle. Okay? So 17 to 27 is what? 10? Half of 10 is 5. So what's 5 plus 20 be 22? Yeah. And 7 or half 5 plus 27 is 32. And I'm going to go one more because I like to have plenty of graduations in my number line. So half of 5 is 2, 19, 24, uh, plus 2 is 29, and 34. And that's good enough for government work, especially since you're doing it by hand. And take my green highlighter and put... 18 down somewhere and you can draw your box on the number line or you can draw it above the number line it doesn't matter uh this orange ooh. oh why i can't shake i think i slip on my neck wrong keep getting a headache 26 26 25 will be halfway so 26 is right about there and then yellow will be what? 21. And then I just finish my box by putting on. There's your box block. And your center is around 27. It looks like to me your data is a little bit. Well, actually, it's further left than that because the mean is way over there. So it looks like to me you got skewed right. Yeah. All right, now do your empirical rule. Draw your natural curve or your normal curve and put in your percentages and find out what's normal. And then after you do that, you have basically done 30 to 40 percent of your test. All we got after that is z-scores. We'll do that probably whatever next day we meet. When is that, Monday? Yeah. If it doesn't snow us out today. Oh gosh, we might be dead by then. <laughs> and that's not working. I can draw. My mean is I'm going to do whole numbers 23. 23, and of course, I need to say this because you're going to say for homework and test, you have to do 23.267 in the middle. Depending on what the answer says, you need to put your mean. If your mean, if they say you need to put it in hundredths or tenths, then you put your tenths or hundredths down here. So I'm just going to do the whole numbers because I don't feel like doing the math. And I'm going to make the standard deviation 6. So that would be 29. That would be 30 what? 35. And 40 what? 1. And 23 minus 6 is what? 17 minus 6 is 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. So now let's fill out our handy-dandy empirical rule. So that's going to be 34. That's going to be 34. That's going to be 13.5. That's going to be 2.35 and 0.15. 
and 13.5 and 2.35 and 0.15. Miss Jeter, are you still using your printouts? Yes, I have them right here. Good. Now, nice to have those things, ain't it? Yeah, so you don't have to keep writing them all over again. And then erase but ninety percent of the class will write them five thousand times. Well, but, that's, yeah, that's, that's up to them. And this is normal. My daughter still asks me to this day, do you still use normal in your class? She took my class when she was West Side. And she never lived that down. Normal. And theater. She used to call the theater the theater. So that's normal. And that's 95%. And then we'll do in aqua. That is unusual. And then, of course, I don't like to use red, but red is your what? Outliers. 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 That's your six-foot second graders. That is 30 to 40 percent of your tests. I am not going to ask you on any of your test questions to do all of that, but you have probably five or six questions in that one problem right there. One homework question may ask you for the variance. One homework question may ask you for the box plot. One homework or test question may ask you for the mid-range and the mean. You see what I'm saying? If you can do yeah. this problem with 14 or 15 numbers, you're good to go for the test. Question, gripe, complaint. Now, Z scores is next. Z scores are basically how you compare apples to oranges. Okay? I'm going to give you an example, and this is just as intro, because right now you should be working on homework up to, what did, what did we say the other day, 6C? Yeah. Somebody look at C of 6. What is it, 6E next? C of 6E is Z scores. Somebody got a book or an outline? It's, it's work C and the normal distribution. We don't I'm have sorry. 6E, we have 6C. It's okay, six whatever. A, B, and C. Thank you. 6C. C is C. What is 6C in the book or what does it say? The normal C. distribution. It says the. I think it has it in Z scores. Okay, we got theater, we got theater, theater music. I'm sorry, no, elevator music. I'm looking to see if we're doomed. Oh my gosh, she said just rain. She's 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 not going along with the plan. You're supposed to say what? Snowstorm. Let's see who else is going to Skype Question. in. I will be Skyping in because the roads may be too bad. <laughs> Excuse me, but... I was about to say, no I was all the way from close. I was speaking. We had worse rain like two weeks ago than yeah. we we're going to have today. People, it's psychological. People, you know, they use things when they need to. Oh, they're going to be buying, yeah, bread and milk. Make sure y'all buy plenty of buckets of food. Buy that food because we're, we're doomed. The 50-gallon prepper food? Yeah. Yeah, get, yeah. go to, go to uh, jimbaker.com and 